Here's our D2L tip of the week, how to keep mixed content security settings from hiding embedded media. If you're using media in D2L that you embedded, meaning it lives on another website but displays in D2L, then you'll want to make sure that security protocols don't prevent your students from actually seeing that media in D2L. This can be a common headache when embedding YouTube videos, for example. Here's the bottom line of what you need to know. D2L uses a secure server connection as denoted by the S in the HTTPS in the site's address. Browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer typically present a warning when a page is displaying what we call mixed content. That means when a secure site like D2L loads content from another source like YouTube, if they don't have matching security, your browser will protect you and your students from what it considers to be non-secure content. Unfortunately, these warnings can be hard to notice in many of the current browsers. For example, Chrome adds a small shield icon to the address bar. Firefox acts similarly. Clicking on the shield presents an option to run the unsafe script or allow the mixed content. Problem solved, right? Well, not necessarily. The problem is, your students don't know what they're not seeing. They don't know to look for the shield icon because they don't know there should be a video or other content in the empty white space on the page. There's a better practice that can save you and your students frustration down the line. Many sites like YouTube offer embedding with either secure HTTPS or non-secure HTTP delivery. The trick is, you just need to add the S to the HTTP when you embed your video. So, to do so, edit an item in D2L where you have a video embedded. Here, we'll use a news item. Toward the bottom left of the text editor, you'll see an icon that has two brackets with a slash in the middle. Click that icon to open the HTML editor. Once the editor opens, you'll want to find the reference to your embedded video or other content. Typically, this starts with the code that says either iframe or embed. For example, if it's a YouTube video, look for the reference to youtube.com, followed by a long string of numbers and letters. Now at the beginning of that YouTube address, edit the HTTP youtube.com to read HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and click the update button. Save the item again by clicking save or update. And now you've set the media content to be delivered securely. You should avoid the next mixed content warning. One footnote. With this method, there's the possibility that you'll see a content blocked error in D2L. You or your students can simply click the allow button and your embedded media will display. This is preferable to the mixed content warning because your students will be prompted to load the media as opposed to not knowing the media is missing when the mixed content warning appears. Have questions? Contact the Cove Support Center at SCC for assistance. That's this week's D2L Tip of the Week.